I think when people do pick up the phone, it is an admission that things are finished, but it's also a massive first step because now you're actually telling somebody what's really going on, be that by reason of domestic violence that's going on, be that by reason of the fact that they just physically cannot stand to be in any longer near or around this person. It's definitely the first stage. It might be the first and the last stage for the time being, but it's definitely a first stage, yeah. Tell us what it's like working in family law. Every day is absolutely 100% different from the day before. I would say that it's, it's quite a special place to be working as a solicitor because you really are dealing with people when they really, really do need proper help at that extreme time in their life when really, they're too many, there may seem like there's no other option but to call their solicitor for the help that they're looking for. And I do think that that is a very important part of the job, to know that the person that's making that call is really, really at their lowest point and is starting to make the journey to the other side of it. But it must be very hard to remain objective sometimes. You have to remain objective. It's, it's not your case. And I, I, I say that every time. And I, I say to people, I might not be, you know, giving you the answers that you're looking for, but I have to remain objective and give you the hard answers and give you the plan and give you the pitfalls and the advantages and disadvantages of what you're looking for. And once I maintain that objectivity, I know that I'm going to get the best result for the client then. It must be very hard, like, hearing some awful stories about things that, that have happened to clients. It is, it is, I won't deny that, it is. And there are some stories that are absolutely heartbreaking and you wonder, what, you know, what can you do? But this is where it comes back to the family lawyer being objective. You have to remain objective. It's not your case. And yes, you're human and you're going to feel you know, different emotions towards this person, but you're not doing your job if their case becomes your case because you have to know the answers that they're looking for or you have to find the answers that they're looking for. And if you're emotionally involved in it, you're not going to see what the proper answers are. It must be very hard at times. It is hard, but I do think that one of the most important things as a family law solicitor, you must maintain a huge level of objectivity. It's not your case, it's the client's case. It's the person that's coming to you because they're heartbroken, because the relationship is gone. It's the person that's coming into you because they can't handle the levels of abuse that are going on at home anymore. It's the person that's coming into you because they have no money left. Everything is controlled, everything in their life is controlled. So it is very hard to hear the stories. You will hear stories where people have just drifted apart and that's it and it's just a procedural aspect to it. But it is hard, but once you get into it, you have to maintain objectivity or else you're not doing your job because then it becomes your case as opposed to the client's case.